guys know this about cow meat. How many people, you know, eat meat here? If a cow knows it's being killed, it releases a toxin, it's like adrenaline, and the meat isn't as good and it's tough. That's why in slaughterhouses, they try to kill it as fast as possible. They try not to let the cow know it's being killed. And the problem is if you botch it, you don't do a clean slice, it makes the meat taste bad. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because the same thing goes for human livestock. That's what we are. 99% of this world, we are human livestock. And we are the livestock of the corporations and of the ultra wealthy, which want to own our time, which want to get as much out of our time, our labor, our brains as possible. But here's the trick is they can't let us know that we are their livestock. They can't let us know that we are chattel, that we have no chance of getting up. I'm here in New York City, by the way, on a run. It is cold as a witch's tit. Ooh, look at this, it's beautiful. Running along the Hudson River here. The thing is, our time, our brains, our labor is being arbitraged by the big corporation. The first step is motherfucking liberation. It's liberation and understanding that this is the game. You are earning an hourly wage, or if you are getting a monthly salary, you are in the system. Hourly wages and monthly salaries are not common. They are not something that has been throughout history. The way of the world, before corporations, you'd work at a shop, maybe you'd get a little commission, if you helped out your father at his shop or you sold stuff on the street, but you would get money based on what you sold. Commission. Every man is, and woman, is their own sovereign. You are your own person. You can't let your time go to an hourly fucking wage or a monthly fucking salary because that is owning you. And a thousand years ago, people weren't paid hourly. People were paid some sort of result of their labor. You were paid based on how many shirts you stitched. You're based on how many benches you made. You're based on how much gold you got out of the mine. This gives people opportunity, not selling your freaking time. But that's how they keep you down. Welcome to New York. It's a crazy city. Each of these buildings, each of these buildings costs hundreds of millions of dollars. And it's because the real estate in the city is so expensive. Ever since I was young, I knew I didn't want to ever go in to a corporate job because that is ownership over your life. That was the path I was on. You don't want to let your life be ruled or controlled or owned by others. You're never going to give yourself the opportunity to have any success. That's a big distinction. Cutting yourself off at the very beginning. And I know it's scary. I know it's scary getting away from that job or from that hourly wage or whatever that is. It's about doing it. It's about making a decision in your life and just saying, fuck this. Think about what I did, what I did was I went to Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is some like self-help guru out here in America. I went to one of his events and he does this thing called the Dickens process. And the Dickens process, you look at your life and you say, if I continue these habits that I know I'm gonna quit, and you guys know, you guys probably know, there are some things you gotta do, right? You're like, I know I gotta quit my job, right? I know I gotta stop being paid a monthly salary or an hourly wage. You're like, I know I have to focus on my entrepreneurship, right? Right? Am I right or am I right? But the thing was, Tony makes you go through it and says, if you don't make this decision today, what is your life gonna be like a year from now? You really have to go deep into the visualization. And then he says, okay, now, what is your life gonna be like two years from now? How are you gonna be feeling? Is there gonna be any regret? that you're still not making this decision. He says, what if you put off making this decision you know you need to make already for five years? What will your life be like? 10 years, 20 years. I went into my head and I said, a year from now, I'm gonna get being paid a higher salary. I'm gonna get more comfortable in life. And I said, 
two years from now, maybe even being paid a little higher salary, I'll have a nice office, probably be in a serious relationship with a girl I meet at work. Me and my coworkers would go to happy hour together. I was an up and coming executive, so people wanted to be around me and I was doing all right for myself. I was making $6,000 a month and I was like 22 years old. So that was all right for 22. And I knew I'd start getting more and more comfortable. And five years from then, I knew I'd have a house because I knew my parents would pressure me into saving my money and I'd want to save my money and the best ways to put in a house. But once you got that mortgage, right, you're locked down. The scary part about this was that it was so real and it was so easy for me to imagine. My entire life stretched out before me and it seemed so natural that I would just put off making the decisions I knew I need to make. It was so easy and I knew that was the way my life was headed. And I made a decision, it was August 2012, where I said, I'm quitting. I'm quitting and I went back and I put in my notice. I don't exactly remember the cycle of events, but I know August 2012 was when I made the decision. Within the next month or two after that, a couple things changed. I started pitching clients. I started really pitching clients. I got two clients that paid me $10,000 each a month. And one of the clients I struck a performance deal with. I would handle their marketing. I'd handle all their advertising for $10,000 a month. The deal was I would get paid $10,000 for a certain on all sales if it was higher than $10,000. I knew I wanted to have unlimited upside. That commission I set for myself ended up becoming 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a month. That changed my life. Unbeknownst to me, I had arranged an affiliate deal with a company. Affiliate deal meaning I do the marketing, I get a commission. If the marketing works, that was life changing. And I negotiated with my previous employer that unless they want problems, unless they want trade secrets out basically, they would continue to pay me the $6,000 a month salary that I was paying. So what ended up happening was, I said there'd be a cool down period and I needed my salary for another six months. So I got $26,000 at 23, $26,000 a month was more than that. I had some other freelance clients because I made a decision. The first thing that had to happen was I had to make a decision of what I wanted for my life. I had to say no to slavery. I had to say no to being human livestock. And just like these companies that are in these buildings, that's One World Trade Center, by the way. That's the new building in the Trade Center. These buildings, these corporations, corporations are entities. Corporations are AI. I'll talk about that in another video. They're an artificial intelligence. They're not human. They have their own intelligence, their own needs, sets, designs, etc. Their goal what I'm telling you now is stand up understand the game that you're playing and understand that you're playing in a rigged game and understand you are the only one who can make the decision to say yay or nay. The decision means to cut off. A decision means you're on this side of the line or you're on this side. You're on one or the other. So I encourage each one of you, make a decision in your life and go at it full bore. I know what I ended up doing. There are a lot of ways to make money out there. There's a lot of ways. Amazon, eBay, crypto, affiliate, CPA, ad agency, blah, 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 YouTube. There's a lot of different ways. I've made my money a few different ways. If you guys are interested in checking out my course and seeing how I was able to make and continue to make millions of dollars per year. I encourage you guys, there's a link in the description. Check it out, sign up for my course. You'll also get access to email newsletter that I put out every single week and I introduce you guys to new business models every single month. So when you sign up for my email list, when you register for my program, you're gonna get new business models every single month that can be your route to freedom. I hope this resonated with you guys. Guys, be alive. If this is cool, I'm trying to be real with you and trying to get some lives changed here, man. I'm trying to get some lives changed here. I'm freezing. Look at this. My hands are red. I love you guys.
like, subscribe, check stuff out, do something in the comments, say what's up to New York. Beautiful out here on a cold ass day. I'll check you guys out in the next video. We're gonna be talking about motherfucking AI. You guys are gonna get some crazy giveaways and you guys are gonna see my uh, hotel I'm staying at next. Pretty fucking nice. That's how we do. See you guys soon, peace. No money has to come out of your pocket for ad spend or nothing. He shows you the true and legit way to start your marketing campaigns with no money. It's been amazing my life because John's program has actually helped me make an additional $2 million that changed my life. I'm freaking excited today. Uh, if you guys can tell, I got my first sale. Oh, he's like, I got two of them. I got to give props to John Cristani. I also signed up for his monthly uh, coaching that he does. Um, it's like 40 bucks or something like that. I am going to sign in. So ClickBank is where I got my first sales commission. If you guys don't know it, uh, know, know about it. Uh, you guys will soon. Uh, so there it is. So um, there's my commissions.